Remember how I mentioned the procession of the equinoxes in previous videos, and how the megaliths around the world are tied into it, and how they incorporate sacred geometrical numerical values within their architecture? The procession of the equinoxes is representing a calendar known as the Great Year, which is 25,920 years long. The Great Year is divided into 12 months, 12 hours of time. 25,920 years divided by 12 gives us 2,160. 2,160 years for each month, for each era of time. Divide this great year into the four seasons, the four eras, each being 6,480 years long. Our recorded history only goes back 6,480 years before present, if that. Oddly enough, every logical division of time within this great year the resulting number it is a multiple of nine. Measuring our movement through time and space is relative to the number nine. Couple this with the knowledge we have now about the megaliths around the world. We have astronomical alignments associated with each megalith, pinning to a specific point of time. The Sphinx is aligned due east facing the constellation of Leo in the backdrop of the rising sun 12,500 years ago. The Great Pyramid is intimately related, aligned with several constellations during certain points of procession, Orion's belt being aligned with the pyramids 12,500 years ago. Angkor Wat is aligned with the constellation of Draco in the same time era of 12,500 years ago. Stonehenge is intimately related with the procession of the equinoxes. The sun rising precisely between each formation like a bullseye and crosshair. What are the implications? I'm suggesting that there's an intelligent design at work here. Beyond our narrow understanding of reality, our ancestors were once in alignment with this intelligence, perhaps evolving consciously. And because of the catastrophe, we have been cut off from this process of evolution. We have been set back up until this very day.